Hey everybody, welcome to Cut, Transform, Glue and to the first episode of the painting of the Sniper Spaceship. I'm super excited to, to finally start painting this huge project. I have started it in the end of the last year and as you guys can see there are lots and lots of pieces and tiny details for me to go over and paint. So yeah, this will be a long journey, uh, probably more than two or three episodes for just the painting process, but yeah. As a quick and friendly reminder right here, if you want to support the channel and if you want to help me keep building, keep making and sharing the videos with you guys, please consider supporting the channel in one of those two platforms right there. Okay, so let's first talk about the color scheme that I've chosen for the sniper spaceship. So as you guys can see in the video, uh, by using Photoshop, I was able to separate each individual structure of the sniper spaceship. And with that, I can paint individually each structure and figure out the, the best color scheme for the project. Once I had every structure separated on a layer I could start choosing the colors and the good thing about using Photoshop for this part of the process is that sometimes uh, some happy accidents can happen so for instance from the beginning of the project I knew that the spaceship would be mostly white and dark gray but by using the layers on Photoshop I was able to find this nice green color right here and with that I decided to use the, the green as an accent color so after a while this is the color scheme that I came up with with the green being the accent color and yeah of course this is subject to be changed at any time in the process but for now let's begin by painting the sniper now the painting of this project is going to be a long process but the good thing about my new workshop is that I have a dedicated space just for the painting so I can keep the pieces right here on my left and I'll paint the, the pieces on the right so I can keep everything nice and clean of course the, the 3D printer is next to the airbrush and, and this is far from ideal but I'll cover that as soon as I can these are all of the pieces of the sniper which I'm going to be painting on this video. This is a big model, a big project, so I really gotta mix a nice amount of paint for these projects. So later on and further on the process, I'm not, I'm not going to, to run out of paint. So I'm mixing a big batch right here so that I'm able to paint the whole thing. There's nothing too fancy about this color, this is just a warm white with some metallic colors to give it a nice pearl scent effect. To mix the accent green color, I started with this lime yellow and to that lime yellow I added some blue which gave me a nice green but a green that was too dark for my taste so to that green I added the white that I created before so these are the two colors that I've ended up with uh, the white that is the main color of the spaceship and the green accent color now of course I'm not worried about mixing some grays and that is because I'll use different shades of gray throughout the whole process With the first two colors mixed, I started painting the project. Now, here's where the trouble begins. See, I've always used alcohol as a thinner for my acrylic paints. And this time the alcohol was giving me some issues with the paint, so I tried using water. And as you guys can see right here, the water wasn't working as well. The paint was kind of gathering and yeah, making some puddles and some, yeah, some excess of paint on some parts. But anyways, I powered through the first pieces and the end result is kind of okay. Uh, it is good enough. 
of course there are some artifacts like this one right here this gunmetal piece he has on the bottom this this artifact right here from the gathering of the paint on this spot but anyways uh, for this first day I used the the water just the water as a solvent and some of the pieces they have some imperfections but I kind of like it as the gun barrel has as you guys can see but I like how it is but for the second day I decided to try another product as a solvent and it was doing a much better job so I moved on with the painting of the sniper and I don't know if you guys can see in the video but there's a slight difference on the color of each piece I tried to make a, a different shade of gunmetal for each piece of the sniper just to make the sniper more dynamic and interesting I guess After that I have applied a coat of, of glossy varnish and then I moved on to adding some other colors like the warm white that I've mixed and also the, the green accent color. And as I want the second color on the top of the gun metal to be kind of chipped, I'll not use the airbrush for that, I'll paint it by brush and then I'll chip it with a cotton uh, Q-tip. I still have to try the salt technique as some of you guys suggested me in the comments of the previous videos but I'm really liking how this technique is working for me by chipping with a q-tip and with my fingertips with my nails and sometimes some other types of tools now the important thing about the q-tip my q-tip technique in chipping is that I don't really wait for the paint to to set and get dry so as soon as it is at least dry to the touch I start chipping it now of course it is important that you guys are gentle with the with the top coat because you can really easily ruin the paint underneath And I did the same thing that I did to the other pieces to the heat shields of the barrel of the sniper. So I've painted it with a gun metal, a dark gun metal as a first coat, then I applied a coat of the warm white and then I chipped it with the Q-tip and some toothpick and even my fingernails. and this is how the sniper is so far now i'm gonna be honest with you guys i was hoping to have the sniper fully painted and finished and weathered for you guys in this video right here but i just couldn't make it i'm really trying hard to keep the channel going and putting out one video per week and this is tough you guys so uh, i think you guys understand the situation right here Hopefully next week I'll have the sniper finished and I'll also move on to the other pieces of the project. I also want to show you guys these nice pieces right here, these tiny nuts and details that I'm going to add to the spaceship as a final detail pass at the end of the painting process and this is only possible thanks to my Patreon and the coffee supporters. So thank you so much you guys for your support and as always thanks for watching.